So we, we headed out to the just beyond Col into the Sea of Hebrides. There's a nice channel over a hundred metres deep that we can follow out to the shelf edge. So the project is about um, trying to monitor marine mammals um, in and outside of marine protected areas to see how their populations are doing. And the gliders are um, a new way of monitoring. Boat side, we mechanically fit the wings, and the rudder and the antenna. We set up the glider operating and then it's the pilot actually on shore that does the hard work today. So they check all the, the commands are correct and give us a go to put it in the water. We just slip the cradle into the water and let it float away. My small part of the project was that I put an acoustic recorder on the glider to try to record marine mammals while the glider is out there. So we don't have often get into the areas where the glider is going to go because um, it's fairly far offshore. But what are we hoping to hear? Probably different kinds of marine mammals, different um, dolphin species, common dolphins, most likely porpoises, potentially some larger whales, humpback whales, fin whales, minke whales, hopefully. And once we get out to the shelf edge, hopefully some other species that we don't see or hear very often closer to shore, so maybe some beaked whales. The mission for this glider is to head out close to the shelf edge, so it will head out south of Barra, heading west. Then it will head down towards the northwest uh, point of Ireland and then come back up to the pickup point where we dropped it off today and that should take six weeks. So the ones that are using really high frequencies like harbour porpoises, they produce sounds that are around 140 kilohertz, which is very high frequency and those sounds don't travel very far, so you, the glider would have to be within maybe 400, 500 meters of a porpoise to pick it up. But uh, larger whales, like baleen whales, like fin whales, humpback whales, minke whales, they produce really low frequency sounds, some of which are too low for us to hear. And those sounds travel really well underwater, and so they can be detected at tens of kilometers, at um, 20 to 50 kilometers or so.